In this video, we will look at how to create a Nearpod lesson. So we're going to start by going to nearpod.com in the browser. Then we're going to click log in. You can either click log in up here at the top right, or under teachers, you have log in here as well. Okay, once there, uh, we're going to be asked how we want to sign in. And in our case, in our district, we're going to use login with Office 365. And this will take our existing Office 365 work accounts, pass it through, and log us in. All right, so here we are in the Nearpod interface. To start creating a lesson, you can either come up here to the top right, and you can go to create the Create dropdown. Or you also have the Create drop-down here next to My Lessons. There are two main options here that we'll be using. One is to create a lesson, combining content, video, and activities. And then there's a second option here that's focused on videos. This is where you take one video and you insert activities and prompts throughout it. For this tutorial, we're going to focus on lessons. So I'll click on Lessons here. Now here I have the ability to begin adding slides to my presentation, or I have the option to upload files. So you might have a PDF file or a PowerPoint presentation. Well, you can go ahead and click Upload Files, and you can upload that from your desktop, or you might have files stored on your OneDrive. Through your work account, you can click on OneDrive to select files there. Note that when you import these files, uh, they will come in as images and will be placed on a new slide. All right, the other thing you can do here, when you add a slide here right within Nearpod, you're going to have two tabs. One is content. This is where you place content on the slide for students to read or listen to or watch. And then the other tab is activities. And this is where you assess your students. So you can give them prompts, questions, multiple choice, polls, uh, activities to really check for understanding. So if I'm on content, for example, I might want to provide a link to a website. So I could choose web content and add a link to a website that I want them to view. Or maybe I want to give them a 3D graphic to interact with and manipulate. Or maybe I want to do a VR field trip and provide a 3D virtual tour. Or you might just want a PDF that you upload for them to read. So you've got a variety of things in here when it comes to content. Now, activities, this is where, again, you will check for understanding. So you can do open-ended questions, matching pairs, quiz, a Flipgrid activity where you would connect this to your existing Flipgrid account, memory test, fill in the blanks, poll, collaborate board. This is where you can have post-it notes on a large shared board that's digital Students can then vote on the posts. So this is a very interactive uh, feature, as well as uh, an assessment tool. And then you have Draw It, where students can answer a prompt by drawing their answer. So experiment with all of those, and you can build out your lesson. Now, when you're done, you're going to see all of your slides as thumbnails here. So in this example, this lesson consists of five total slides with various activities. And so what you can do is you can actually preview these before you deliver this to your students. It's always good to preview it. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom and I'm going to click on preview. This will load the slides as they will appear to students. At the top, we see student preview. Okay, so the first slide is a poll, and this is how it will look, where they can read the question, select an answer, 
and then they would click Submit, and you would get the results there. You notice here we also have an inserted picture that they can click on. Uh, this might be content that you want them to read first or reflect upon. Okay, then we'll go to the next slide. And here we can see this is a matching activity. So the students will match the cards. So I can test that out, go through the activity. Okay, then we'll go to the next slide. Fill in the blanks. And we can test this out, make sure everything's working. Done. Okay, we'll go to the next slide. Here we have an uploaded PDF. And in this example, the students could come down and select a color to draw with. And they can complete the activity this way. All right, let's go next. Here, the drawing a picture to share how we're feeling about Nearpod. So again, can utilize the drawing tools, a highlighter, can also input text, insert an image, etc. All right, so when I'm done previewing, I'm gonna go ahead up here in the top right to click the X to get out of the preview. And when I'm happy with this, I can now go and assign this lesson, or I can do it as a live participation lesson. And we will look at that in the next video. Always remember to save and exit when you are done editing and building your lesson out. And here you will now see all of your lessons in your library and organize them in folders if you'd like. You can add folders here and put your lessons within folders to keep them organized. All right, in the next video, we'll look at how to deliver your lesson to students.